We've been joined by Mr. Kenichi Ayukawa. He's the MD and CEO of Maruti Suzuki India. So thank you so much for talking to ET now and congratulations for the new thank launch. If you talk about India's hatchback market, it, it is pretty much crowded and with the new Baleno launch, uh -huh. how much market share are you planning to capture? I think it's fortunately that we have that uh, you know premium segment that the Bahrains are keeping the highest the share. We try to keep and that uh, furthermore emphasize due to the implement, implemented that the new uh, Biku, new age Baleno. Uh, it, it, this is uh, the addition, additional the feature, etc., that the, which are customer expecting. Uh, I think that we can improve, improving furthermore the customer satisfaction with this model. So, talking about the whole semiconductor and chip shortage, what is the current status in Maruti right now, and is it having a long impact on the deliveries? Until when do you see a revival in the semiconductor and chips? Unfortunately, that uh, uh, we are luckily we are getting it a lot of the demand from customer. That uh, as I said, that uh, already we have the line out that 2.7 lakh that uh, back order. And uh, comparing last su summer, August, uh, September, uh, semiconductor supply situation they becomes the improving gradually, but it is very difficult to 100 percent recover or not. Yeah, because that. Uh, not only that auto industry, but all industry facing a difficulty that the semiconductor shortage because total capacity is not so much good enough. Uh, of course, semiconductor industry try to expanding their capacity, but it I believe it takes the time. For why we have to keep for, uh, to carefully watch, but also depend on the chip type. Some chip can deliver, some ca chip cannot deliver. Those kind of situations still continue that. So it is expected that in mid-March onwards there will be a price hike in petrol and diesel prices and it is also expected that the RBI might also uh, you know, hike the interest rates. So what kind of impact are you assessing from these two separate uh, things? I think that of course the global you know, economy itself is uh, going to the inflation, right? Uh, every material, it, every issue, that, uh, you know, a material the cost is uh, increasing. That is the real situation. We have to carefully watch how we're going to absorb those kind of cost up. And some part cannot if we have to uh, concern the price up, etc. We, but we have to well try to make an effort to the reducing cost. Right. So due to the rise in geopolitical tensions which we are seeing globally, it has a direct impact on the commodity prices as well as the raw material prices. So do you plan to pass it on to the customers or are you still going to factor in the hike? It's a very, very difficult question for us. We, we want to know that uh, exactly the information on those kind of issue, uh, but uh, we try, as I said, that uh, we try to do our best to have how we uh, absorb that the cost impact. But actually, the unfortunate that uh, we cannot sometimes uh, cannot absorb that hundred percent. We have to share the, some portion to request that customer. So very lastly, sir, uh, there has been a two-month straight decline in uh, monthly sales of Maruti. Uh, how is February looking like for you? Do you expect a great uh, rebound in demand? And besides this, can we expect more uh, price hikes in the new financial year? Uh, demand itself, unfortunately, we have to get uh, the good demand from market. Unfortunately, the price hike cannot satisfy that, that, that demand. That is a real situation. We try to do that, uh, you know, uh, our best to increasing uh, production uh, because mainly they due to the shortage of the component, right? Thank you so much, Dr. Eti. Now, thank you so much.